Hey, it's Tim here. In today's video, I'm actually going to be talking about an end of maintenance release that Tableau have uh, announced on Tableau forums and to customers over email. Now, this sounds like an alarming thing, but it's really not. I'm going to try and break it down in this video and we're going to go through it. Let's get stuck in. Okay, so if you head to the community pages of Tableau, this is probably the easiest way to find it. You don't need to be logged in to see this. If you head to the community pages at Tableau, you'll see that on the homepage, um, there's an important announcement from Tableau and essentially it reads end of maintenance accelerated to November 2021 for Tableau versions 2019.3 all the way to 2020.3. Essentially what they're saying is look if you're using any version that were released from the third quarter of 2019 all the way up until the third quarter of 2020 they're going to stop supporting it in November of 2021. Now, this is highly unusual for Tableau because typically they've actually supported software for a long, long time. In fact, if I go to um, Tableau releases and we just go to that page and we just go look at the release notes, um, you'll see that if I go back to, let's say, 2018.3, they've actually supported it for 29 patches. The best way to think of that is every month Tableau patch this and they've supported this for a really long time. They first released it in October 2018, and then and that's been supported all the way up until 2020, so March 2021. So it's a really, really sort of long uh, maintenance window. And what the support sort of slash maintenance window really means is look, if Tableau release a version of Tableau today, they will support that exact same version for a period of time. Essentially, they'll continue to release patches, fix any security bugs. They'll fix all of that uh, very, very quickly. So why is that changing? What's caused this to happen? So if you go to the learn more page and um, there's actually a bit of an explanation and it turns out it's actually because Tableau themselves use a third party bit of software. Now, the third party bit of software in question is called Postgres. And essentially what's happened is Postgres themselves have stopped supporting a version of Postgres that Tableau was using in those versions of the product. Now, you could argue Tableau could have switched to the slightly newer version of this product inside of Tableau sooner to avoid this sort of hiccup. But essentially because Postgres have stopped supporting this particular part of the software, the particular release of their software, and when it's get bundles into Tableau, uh, if Postgres aren't supporting that particular thing, then essentially it becomes something that could be sort of vulnerable to security. And so at that point, um, if Postgres isn't supporting it, the Tableau can't support it either. So essentially what's happening here, and actually there's there's actually a really sort of good uh, explainer here by David Brown from Tableau. It's up on the screen right now. And it basically goes through exactly what's going on and what the impact is. So it's really, you know, it's not something to be worried about. Tableau is not changing its sort of philosophy philosophy around maintenance releases, but it does mean there's some implications. And if you're an IT admin or if you know your IT admin, it's probably worth letting them know that this is happening because what it does mean is that they've got a short amount of time to upgrade Tableau if they're on any versions that sort of sit within that window uh, to the supported version. And essentially, you want to be targeting at least 2020 dot four onwards essentially so you want to be targeting basically something that was released in the last uh let's say in the last six months um or if you really want to go backwards you could you could go backwards but most people are probably going to upgrade and go forwards and um if your organization hasn't sort of had this good cadence of upgrades then i think this could catch you out and it's just something to be aware of but nonetheless uh, tableau have actually got some really really good resources i don't think enough people uh, know enough about the resources that tableau provide on things like upgrading their software and upgrading everything now if you're using Tableau Online, well, this doesn't really affect you because you're already using the latest and greatest. If your desktop versions have been updated, then likelihood is it's very easy to update that compared to updating your whole infrastructure and when it comes to Tableau Server. So Tableau Online users don't need to worry too much. But when you are a Tableau Server user, this is where the real sort of um, uh, piece of work is going to be. Now, Tableau have got these four resources here at the bottom of the page that are really, really good. Essentially, they go through how to upgrade a tableau in a sort of useful way and the upgrade tableau server overview i i i you know i've gone through this hundreds of times in fact before every upgrade i always flip through it and um, when i did my tableau uh, server pro certification i literally this was the bible <laughs> this is what i used uh, to sort of get myself ready because it's extremely extremely thorough 
And what it does do is it does walk you through every single step. There's also another sort of tablet guide, which is the everybody's install guide. And that also talks through a bit about upgrades, but actually this, this page by Tableau is extremely thorough. I'll make sure I put a link on the screen so you can access it. Um, and it goes through exactly what to do, what to sort of look out for. And in your own specific circumstances, it generally tends to sort of give you a good checklist of things to check before you upgrade. So um, I think it's a really, really good resource to get stuck into. Um, but generally, I just wanted to do this video to say, hey, look, something's changed, but it's not a change to be alarmed by. The only downside is that it might create some additional work for you if you're responsible for looking after Tableau Server or the infrastructure around that. Um, what I think it should do, though, it should maybe highlight to you that, you know, it's good to stay in touch with the releases. I don't think it's unreasonable to, ex to expect people to still be on 2019 or 2020. I think that's perfectly normal. Some companies have yearly upgrade cycles, so they might just be about to upgrade to the, you know, the latest version from 2019. So they'll be fine anyway. And for people who've just upgraded to 2020.3, um, great, but you know, sort of, sort of missed the boat. And if you're about to upgrade to something that's going to lose support, I'd halt that upgrade and sort of maybe get the next version that you're looking at, maybe 2020.4, in line so that you fall within the support window. Essentially, falling out the maintenance support window means that, listen, um, as of November, I think it's November 2021. As of that date, uh, I think it's November the 11th, 2021. As of that date. If you have a problem with a version of Tableau and it's 2019.3 to 2020.3, essentially Tableau won't support you on that. So you need to upgrade to make sure that you're in touch. But that's pretty much it. There's not much more to it. Um, definitely check out this guide. I'll put a link to everything in the description. Uh, the link's a bit long for the screen. So I'll look in the description for these notes and a bit more sort of guidance on what's going on. And hopefully you found this video useful. Thanks for watching and I'll catch you in the next one.